Welcome back to the Spirit Guide Daily. These are daily messages when we're in a collective, we all share energy. We have the Forest Fae uh, uh, Oracle Inspiration Cards bringing us a card. The Good Tarot is bringing bring us three tarot cards. And then we have the Messenger Oracle as well, bringing us a Messenger Oracle card. Before I get started, please do not forget to subscribe because it helps my channel. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. And if you like the reading, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Um, this is the Good Tarot. It is a very heavy card stock and can be very like cumbersome to uh, shuffle for my fellow readers, but it has amazing and beautiful artwork. It is by Colette Baron reed it does work with the elements versus the normal suits. So we have the two of earth, which is the two of pentacles, which is making all ends meet. It's keeping all, it's multitasking. It's keeping all your balls in the air. It is also a card of a call to balance. Remember, if you're feeling out of sorts, balance, it really just does help. That it comes out with the star in reverse. This is such a beautiful deck. It is just such a beautiful deck. But the star in reverse is like feeling like everything is out of reach. If you've been in a period of stasis for a while, like take note of what the season is. Um, I do film these in batches, but spring is right on the cusp of beginning. And if it has been a long kind of overly sedate season, Remember, you are meant to heal during the winter months and prosper during the growing months. Now, if you're in a different hemisphere and you're like, no, we are actually headed into our like spring as well. We're headed into spring in the hemisphere in which I live in, but I have a ton of Australian clients and they're going to be headed into fall, I believe. And that comes out with the eight of wands in reverse, which is a delay. Listen, I, I, I'm sure you're tired of hearing it. I'm almost tired of saying it. Everything that you were told was supposed to happen with your purpose is still in the works. You are not showing a very impatient energy. This is a hopeless energy. Like you're, you're kind of a, you're very diligent and you're very responsible, but you're, it's like you've decided I'll just, it doesn't matter if I'm happy. Like I'll just, you know, one foot after the other until such time as I walk right into the grave. That is not the plan for you. It is only delayed because your healing took longer. And that is not to scold you. It is to say, please admit that you are dealing with some issues that have been in place for a very long time. And they were holding you back in multiple areas. The way you approach yourself and the way you approach others was very much built on a faulty foundation through no fault of yours. It was damage that was done to you. And you got stuck with healing it, but everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody has formative damage that they have to deal with. And this, this energy I have of just like, it's like you're sagging to the floor and it's not unhappiness, but it's this very resigned energy. And they're asking you once again to understand if you keep hearing this message and you're like, you're, it's like a carrot that I can't ever catch. You're never going to give me anything. You just want me to keep going. That is not true. It's just you needed to be healed so you could be safe when you do have everything because you had a habit of letting people take advantage of you. That is what my collective is about. There are a bunch of healers and educators and like many people walk forward wanting to do good in this world and they've encountered people who would take from them. You're in a much better balanced state. You're able to recognize when somebody does not have good intent and you step back from them. You're self-protective in a way that you have not begun to recognize because it's becoming second nature. And an eight of wands in reverse is not a blocked journey. It is a delayed one. And it wasn't to punish you or scold you or say you didn't do a good enough job, but rather remember things will repeat until we repair them. It has been delayed so you could be fully repaired so you didn't have to go through another punishing cycle to learn. We have the autumn fay. Go slowly and listen carefully for, to the words of tree spirits. I love the trees. All healers have an energy where the trees are very, very beneficial to them. These are two, like these, these images just really call out to me as being very related. If you're feeling blocked, Go and try to ground in nature. And if you can't get to nature because the weather is horrendous wherever you are, 
please remember all over YouTube there are people taking point of view walks where it you know nobody's talking it's just you and the landscape I walk all over Sweden basically at this particular time because I found a channel that I really really like that I love the scenery there I just love the scenery there try to match the energy to what you wish to inhabit rather than what you do. So go towards abundance and blossoming energies in the natural world if you're interacting with videos and know that that starts stirring up some energies in you. But this is like your, this is just an encouraging one. Become a shapeshifter, be adaptable. And then the other was we are all connected. That came out like very interconnected. Become a shapeshifter is be adaptable Chances are good that this feeling, this feeling of like wah, 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 is because the things that you really wanted, because they did not come to you in the form that you are asking for, you've convinced yourself that nothing is for you. There are many things for you. And this kind of sad feeling is not going to block anything out, but you simply deserve to be happier make an effort to say, well, I do feel a lot better. Make a list of all the ways in which you feel like you've improved. Try to pick your spirits up a little bit. Listen to happy music, read happy things. Even though things have been delayed, they will still be wonderful when they arrive in your life. But sometimes we have to hang out through a resting season before we can have a thriving season. And that's a little bit what's going on here. We are all connected and become a shapeshifter. You, you, there's things that you do not understand from your vantage point right now that two or three years from now, you'll be able to look back and be like, oh, that's why that was. Trust that that's what's going to happen and simply go forward trying to invest the idea of excitement and happiness in your future again. Because I've got this little diligent, diligent energy with the two of pentacles but I've got this sad, repressed energy with the star and the eight of wands in reverse. Just keep trying. Look for the good things in life and it will help restart your mood and restart your energy. And if things have taken that little bit longer, simply be proud of yourself for the fact that you have been persistent and you have been resilient. And that is part of what they have been trying to teach you is the ability to persevere. And I know it's not a fun lesson, but it's a very necessary one because sometimes life does go a little pear-shaped and we need to be able to get through it knowing that there's something on the other side of it. And that's what they're reminding you of today. If things feel like it's the sad trombone of life right now, understand that that is exactly where the perseverance and the resilience is supposed to come in. Remind yourself, not everything can happen today, so what is good today? And that will help. That was today's Spirit Guide Daily. Take care, be well. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below.